What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Frank No Streaming, Frank No Gaming. Uh, I'm uploading this to YouTube, so it's going to be Frank No Gaming. I'm back. I'm alive. I'm here. Um, today's very special because I'm going to be bringing you some of the undisputed um, online beta. Um, been really excited for this. Haven't had a boxing game in 10 plus years, so it's good to get in here and really feel what the new one's talking about. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to bring you guys this footage uh, completely unedited. Well, I say completely unedited. I'm throwing my audio on top of it. I'm also going to lower that a little bit. Uh, the commentary in the game is a little bit bugged, and I also just don't want it to overpower me. But yeah, um, starting things off, I had an Arturo Gotti uh, mirror match. I am the Gotti in the white shorts. Shout out Bryce for obvious reasons, but... Yeah, uh, just starting things off, I'm trying to start slow because I know this game is more built on realism. And um, the stamina and the movement is just so much more important. So I'm trying to start things off, you know, work the body, just poke that jab out there. Everything works off the jab. So I'm just trying to, you know, throw mine out there, throw some tools behind it, but mix it up to the head and to the body. Um, and eventually I'm hoping that I can just, you know, keep tickling those ribs and bring his stamina bar home with me. Right now, I'm just kind of looking, seeing what openings he's got, and just seeing the head movement, trying to figure things out. You can see I'm just throwing little naked shimmies there, trying to figure out what's up. And got me some good body shots. I tried to counter with the uppercut. Couldn't quite get all of it. A lot of things that I throw land on the gloves, but I also like that, you know, that's a possibility. That's a thing that happens often in, in real boxing, so... Yeah, just starting things off, you know, both just kind of trading, starting slow, seeing what the other one's wanting to do. I do feel like at this point, anyway, two minutes in, I feel like I have landed more and potentially led in uh, the better shots. It was a good jab I hit there. Yeah, especially like whenever I start mixing the hooks and things in, you know, I'm trying not to just burn myself out. It is round one, but I also got to let them know I'm not just here to play patty cake even now. <laughs> 30 seconds left in the round. It looks like he is also trying to, you know, just slow down, see what I'm trying to do. And that's totally fine with me because my plan at this moment is to get in, get my damage off before he can, you know, get a read. With that said, he uh, caught me there winging those lifts. I, uh, I got to work on my defensive responsibility, <laughs> you know, like I like getting in there and throwing my own damage. And sometimes I, I get caught taking pictures. You know, you get in there, you throw, you like what you've seen. And, you know, then where you're standing there looking, he's he's catching you with something on the return. So I got to do better about moving out. Oh, that's what they got love in this game, man. Whenever you can move and the check hooks that you can throw to, like, reposition yourself, they can work so well with movement and they can help you cut off the cage as well as a cage. They can help you cut off the ring as well as getting yourself off the ropes if you need to. And you'll see it. I think it's... This round or maybe the next one, I kind of do start falling in love with that check hook. I throw it quite a bit, but it's one of my favorite punches in the game. And at this point, anyway, it seems like it's, you know, relatively effective. He's catching me with some good shots coming in. I got to start mixing up my timing. Yeah, he's trying to throw some offense, but I'm going to let my man shadow box. If I was smart here, see, like, watching back and thinking about what I could have done. If I was smart, I would just come in, let him start throwing back out, and just keep doing that. Let him throw himself out. Which I do, uh, I feel like I did do to a degree. He's throwing a lot, and, uh, you know, I feel like I'm doing a decent job getting my hands up. I feel like I'm being blessed because I'm using Arturo Gatti, who's got... You know, good blocking, but more importantly, an adamantium chin. So even whenever I am making those mistakes, I don't really have to pay too much for him because God is just so damn tough. One of the toughest of all time, man. I love digging to the body. Ooh! Throwing a nice little combo. It all lands on the gloves, though, except those couple body shots. So, you know, good on him for, again... Arturo uh, Gotti in that block. some series. Still, I'm trying to mix them up a little bit at the end of the round. Sorry about some frame in this there. 
Now, yeah, there it goes. I'm not sure if if that little glitch happened on your end, because I still hear the audio fine, but like, hang on. There it goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is probably horrible commentary because, like I said, on my end, it was it was choppy there in the preview, and I couldn't really see it. That's one of the uh, detriments of doing after-the-fact commentary. Oh, I'm getting some good body hooks in there. It's one of the, you know, detriments, though. Um, there are times where I, you know, just might not see what's going on or talk over what I'm doing or don't remember what I'm doing. But, you know, the game, I feel, itself is entertaining enough, and I feel like I'm just kind of giving my thoughts right now. Um, I'll try and record some more later today. I'm recording this uh, on the Sunday, the 6th. There's the third day of the beta coming later today, and you know I'm gonna try and record and do some commentary while I'm recording those, so I can you know, give you a better representation of my thoughts during the fight. But ooh, he was catching me with some big rights, and I just kept trying to throw that left. It didn't work, but I kept working on it. He's kind of starting to steal this round because I'm standing there being careless. Yeah, I'm just trying to slow down because one thing about this guy, three rounds in, he does not seem very patient. Now, I know that's crazy coming from me, but he's not waiting on shots. You know, he's trying to go in there and force open the door, whereas I feel like I'm at least doing a better job of, of waiting on those openings. Again, I, uh, I'm i not very patient myself. That's something I'm working on. That's something I will work on as as the game, you know develops into its life cycle oh but i do feel like i'm you know doing a decent job of staying out of the way of a lot of damage i mean <laughs> i'm getting hit a lot after the bell there yeah i got hit quite a bit that round but um i feel like i was avoiding huge shots i was i was still getting hit still getting hurt by some things but i feel like i was doing a decent job of you know staying safe while also Trying to hit hip with my own uh, big offense. I'm digging that body, man. Goodness. Yeah, you'll see. I throw a lot like into the open because I'm waiting on him to come in. Go straight there into the body hook. Yeah, I do really like the movement in this game. The head movement, uh, well, maybe if, you know, I had somebody who had a little bit better. Like, if I was using Ali, the uh, the button and stick head movement might be a little bit better. I feel like at this point, whenever I'm currently talking, uh, I feel like using the click left stick slip is a little bit better than, than using the other head movement. But again, that might just be fighter to fighter. It might be something that's that's different between other people. We'll have to see as things go on. Yeah, switch into the loop, uh, loose movement here. And I really try to commit to the stick and move offense as opposed to just staying hanging down in the pocket with him. Because I feel like that's when he's been getting the majority of, of his effective offense is whenever I stay in the pocket too long. So I'm trying to do a better job of just, you know, staying loose, uh, keeping on the move, making sure he, that, you know, I'm in a position to hit him or he can't hit me. I feel like in the last 10, yeah, I try to go in there and get me some damage off. Land some good shots. Try to give him a little extracurricular, get him back for the last round. And yeah, I'm doing well uh, with the stamina advantage so far. I feel like, you know, that gap is, is only going to widen as he just keeps throwing wild and I just, you know, keep trying to work the body. And of course, you know, working the body is going to open up those headshots. Give me some more opportunities to do damage. He caught me with, I think, three jabs in a row right there. We both tried to just load up on the rights.
Yeah, now I'm standing there trading. Probably not the uh, the best tactic in the world, but again, being Arturo Gatti, I didn't I didn't pay too too much. But I got to be careful about that because you know, in a game like this, one shot actually can change everything. You know, a lot of the uh, footage I've seen of stuns and and rocks, they come quick. Ugh. Got him two good lefts, and then, you know, he got me back on the trade, but I tried to get him with that big right. Yeah, I'm starting to fish for that big right hand. Didn't quite get that one. Caught me with a good jab, and he's just pumping his jab out here now. So I try to punish him, you know, I know. Ooh. I know he's hitting me with a lot of jabs, so I'm trying to hit him with power shots and just counter those. So I might get hit with one or two jabs, but I'm giving him something to really think about in return. Yeah, he's abusing that jab, so I'm like, okay. He got me with a good one there. Yeah. Even though I feel like I'm starting to, to take control, he's still giving it back. Like, let's not get it twisted. He's not just standing there, you know, rolling over. He's trying to make sure that I'm in a fight. So kudos to him. Hmm. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little overzealous looking for those hooks. But that said, man, you know, I keep saying that I love to rip to the body. You know, I just like, I like wearing my opponent down. That way I know, you know, towards the end of the fight, even if I am down or, you know, whatever the case may be. I like having the freedom to, to open up a little bit more at the end of the fight. And not have to worry as much about, you know, what they're going to do coming back. Because they're not going to have the gas to fire back like that. Now, yeah, I was really trying to get a slip. I did eventually get it. And landed a good shot. And now, I, I, I'm just like, alright, yeah, we're just going to stand in the center of the ring. Let's, uh, let's just stand on this napkin. I'm doing some slight back steps, but just to re-engage, you know. I'm like, if we're going to stand here on the inside, let's do it. Because, again, uh, at this point, I know I've got a uh, stamina advantage. So, I'm just like, yeah, forget about it. Let's get down. Of course, he starts using that to his advantage. He's working to my body as well. Uh, he's doing a decent job avoiding, uh, avoiding my big power. He's circling out. Oh, hit me with two massive right hands. Yeah, this is what I'm like, all right, let me stop playing because uh, he's not messing around. He was trying to get me all the way out of there. <laughs> there at the end of the round, yeah, we we're both just like, no, nah, no bill. So, yeah, the commentary um, in the beta, it's, it's had some issues. I feel like that's that's been very heavily documented. Uh, so there's no need to beat that point into the ground. I'm just focusing on the gameplay here, and I'm really liking what I'm seeing. The camera, I don't really, I'm not the biggest fan of all the uh, the motion and everything. I understand it. You know, it's supposed to be a cameraman moving around. And for from a realism standpoint, I do enjoy that, but I also feel like it tilts a little bit too much. You know, sometimes there's too much of that shake and too much of that flash. But uh, you can turn those off in the menu and... Um, I thought I had done so for this fight. I must have done it after this one. Uh, but I believe that, yeah, I've got that, that turned off now. I might still have the flashes on. But I don't mind those as much. And, yeah, that's the, uh, the L3 slips I was talking about. If you... Move the stick in the direction and then click down. You know, you'll do a slip in the according direction. It's a little bit weird at first, but you do get used to it. I'm getting some pretty good shots there. That left landed kind of kind of awkwardly, but gave him two good right hands. Oh, 
Oh, good slip into the uppercut. Attempted a little three piece there with the check hook. I thought he was going to take another step. Yeah, we're both just in there trying to get down, especially in the last 10 seconds. We're both just like, nah, let's let's just see who's got it here at the end. But again, I feel like I'm getting out to a comfortable lead. You know, I feel like these rounds have been largely in my favor, if not, you know, if I haven't racked up all of them. I could fight more conservatively, you know, smarter. But I didn't do that. I was, uh, <laughs> I start hunting for the, uh, the knockdown here in a little bit. Because I know that, like I said, I've got his stamina down so I can start taking some chances. So I'm just, uh, hanging out in the pocket, throwing more power shots, and just really trying to take him out. And he's catching me with some good shots. He's waiting now. He's being more patient, picking his openings. But I'm still trying to mix the target up, hit the head, hit the body. You know, I'm still trying to throw a lot of jabs. Mixing up with crosses and hooks. I don't throw very many uppercuts. Threw one there. But yeah, generally speaking, uh, that's something I should implement more into my arsenal. But I just love a good body hook. And then, of course, bringing it up top. Yeah, now that clip there, that boy was starting to cook. <laughs> get the slip. And then, yeah, I'm really just trying to get to the business. I really want that knockout or that knockdown either. And you can see in the way I'm throwing. Woo! Yeah, I was heating up at the end. Those right hands are huge. I'm surprised he's able to take all these. But at the same time, a lot of them are landing uh, on the gloves or on the arms. But, man, he was taking some damage there at the end. So, congratulations to him. I believe this is the end of the fight. Yeah. You know, I had to pick that up. <laughs> but, yeah, the first fight, I had a ton of fun. I'm looking forward to doing more. And I'll probably be uploading, you know, more of the fights that, that I do later on. If you guys want to see more, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all know how it is. Uh, take a look at the scorecards. Clean work. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys.